Firstly, don't call me love. I hate you. Hey fam, how are you all? So today's video is how to deal with haters, people that don't really support you or people that I guess are a bit ruder, talk down on you, etc, etc. I did my eyes off camera. It is like a JLo inspired look. She's the queen, hello. Firstly, don't call me love. I hate you. Secondly, you are beyond expensive. You are ridiculously overpriced. You think you're some top shit makeup artist. Hun, I'd only be paying your rates if you were Melissa Sassine or Ebru. You are a nobody, caps. <laughs> you are, again, ridiculously overpriced. Hence why your business is doomed to fail. Working in a retail environment. It's a common feedback that customers give all the time regarding pricing. And maybe if you take some customer feedback on board, your business wouldn't be doomed to fail. Oh, and not just about your pricing, your attitude and integrity is severely unattractive. Instead of being sympathetic and apologetic towards a customer, instead you have been repeated on numerous times that you're happy for me to cancel on you by now acting like you're affected by that. Haha, <laughs> and so you should be jokes on you. Thank you for never taking me as a customer. We are on the same page. I will never contact you for any services. And I have already started bad mouthing your bad mouthing you, sorry, on social media platforms and word of mouth. If you are a true professional, you would know that these two platforms are the most important things for your business to succeed. Without good reviews on social media and a word of mouth, you are a failure. And she did three laughing faces. The lesson you should learn from this, <coughs> sorry. It's a really long message. <laughs> um, here we go. The lesson you should learn from this is one, don't lie. Lying is a universal sin and is detrimental on your business. Once you look in, a, once you lock in a price with a customer for months back, you should honor that, not charge your prices. Also be transparent about your prices, not charge us for a F, F, I'm going to not swear, a F face mask, $25. Not even going to tell you how much they actually cost anyway, but it's more than that. Me and my friends all sat around the table laughing at you. The fact that you carry around a fridge to carry this $1.50 sheet mask that I can buy myself from Priceline in our F fridge. You made our night. We actually made a meme about you. I would show you, but then again, you don't deserve that attention. Laughing faces. Goodbye, B. I have, I have had a great night and for the record, I can't even talk. For the record, I do my makeup so much better than you. Lots of hate, J and J. I'm not gonna say their names. But that was the message I received. I would say now it's been about a week. Um, so let's get to the video, shall we? Then I wanted to share that was probably because that's one of the most brutal messages that I have gotten so far. Um, I'm assuming there will be more but I don't think there'll be more of that kind. I feel like a lot of my friends that, other, that are other makeup artists who are very high in the industry haven't received a message like that. They've received hate, definitely, but not like that. So I just wanna dive in a bit about what is a hater. First of all, if you also like this video so far, not saying you like the message, <laughs> but if you like it so far, please give it a big thumbs up. That was quite hard for me to read. I looked this up on Google. A hater is a person who greatly dislikes a, spe a specified person or thing, a negative or critical person. She found it difficult to cope with the haters. I personally think a hater is someone who isn't happy within themselves so they want to seek out everyone that's doing something for themselves hmm do you like the way i just stopped there sorry i just noticed something on my skin so she's not happy with or he they're not happy within themselves so they find the need to consistently bash someone else bash someone down it could be themselves or it could be about a business it could be about a decision you've made. It could even be about like something you're wearing or just little, little digs at you for no necessary reason. And if there is a reason, they usually extend their hatred or their unnecessary thoughts to you just to make sure that you have heard them, just to make sure that it has hurt you in some way, shape or form. Hater is someone who says something that is quite negative 
Now there's a difference between constructive criticism and negativity. Constructive criticism is when someone tells you that they like maybe they have a piece of advice for you that they want to give you but doesn't come across as though they're trying to actually hurt you. They're just trying to help you grow and learn. And I have had constructive criticism and I completely appreciate it. Even though sometimes you don't want to hear it, it's really what's best for you. And I've learned to take that and I literally appreciate it so much. It used to, when I was starting out, I used to get really upset about it because I'm like, oh my gosh, it must mean I'm not good. I'm never going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. You just start to think bad about yourself, but that's only because you already have those thoughts. So then when someone else affirms that, you're like, oh my gosh, it must be true. Instead of being like, okay, no, they're just thinking outside the box of how I can better myself, better my business. Why shouldn't I take this on board? If you think it's worth it. Remember, your opinion is the only one that really should matter, but you should also, if you want to take some people's opinions on board or even just have that at the back of your head and just think about it a bit. And if you still come to the conclusion that you don't want to do it, that's completely up to you. But it's no harm in just thinking about something if someone is genuinely trying to help you. And I'm sure you can tell when someone really wants to help you. Instead of saying, for example, first of all, I hate you, you could go off with, well, firstly, I don't think this is fair because, you know, uh, I don't appreciate the way you said this to me. It made me feel, you know, or maybe you shouldn't say that those things to your clients because it's not a very nice thing to say people get offended. Something along those lines. You know what I mean? Although we have quite covered why a hater does what they do, why do they do that? Well, if you are quite content within your life, you're a happy person, you're grateful for all the little and big things, you don't hate on other people. You don't say things to them that hurt them. People always say, oh, they know no better. There comes a point in your life where you either start to grow as a person or you just get stuck in a way you've been taught or what you've seen or whatever it is forever and you expect everyone to cope and deal with you. Now, personally, from experience, those types of people usually end up with either fake friends, they're alone, or they have to go through something traumatic for them to want to grow. And that's always such a, it's sad because you don't want them to go through something traumatic, but at the same time, it's you're grateful because you're like, well, at least you're choosing to make something better from that. Just a little thing. For example, if you right now are really angry at, say, a friend or let's just say you're angry because you broke up with your partner and you're seeing all these great couples online, you may not reply or comment on those specific things, but you may think that must all be a lie or oh, how did she get so lucky or why her or I bet you he's cheating or I bet you this, I bet you that you start to think negatively because you're coming from a place of trauma. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that everyone is like that, but haters usually use that to kind of fuel up everything from what I've seen. You can also use that and just be like upset and not do anything about it. But we're just talking about haters for now. Well, I never do this much contour, but it's JLo, so we've got to be schnizzled. Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to be very touchy when I talk about this subject because I know that there have been way more suicidal... Um, happenings now especially because people have been so rude on social media people have been quite nasty and said some really nasty things on there and I think that's where I guess their pain comes from and also it's so much easier to say stuff online than it is to someone's face because when someone's directly looking at you do you think I would have received that message if I was looking at her I don't think so Maybe, you never know, but I just don't think it would have been that extreme. Do you think someone's gonna go straight up to you and say, oh, your relationship is fake, or oh, you, you act so, you know, who do you think you are posing like that? Who do you think you are taking videos like that? Who do you think you are doing her makeup? I've gotten that a few times. And like people say like, why you? Like, why would you, why would they get you? And I just look at them like, mm, wow, okay, why not me? What, like, it's crazy what people say when they don't understand how someone else 
is doing something great and why they're not. When they don't see behind the scenes of how hard someone works or how much someone prays or how much someone studies and learns and tries and fails and fails and fails and fails and then fails again a few more hundred times before they finally get to succeed. And those type of people are the people that deserve it because you're trying every single day. Let's think at how we react to someone that is being a hater because that's where I personally think the real action takes place. That's where what they say either matters or it doesn't. And I'm going to be totally honest with you all. No matter like how good you are or how strong willed you are or how much you are completely whole within yourself. Yeah, there might be times where it does start to get to you, but using your own wholeness and what we're going to talk about in very soon. That's what's going to get you grounded again, because you always need to do it for yourself because there is no one coming to help you. There might be people that be like, don't believe that. Yes. And I was overwhelmed with love on my Instagram with people sending me beautiful messages. Like I, it, it made me more teary. I cried more because of that. Cause I'm like, I feel so, I feel, I it felt beautifully nice to just have people that also thought that was very nasty and have people that were like, no, that's not who you are. And I love when people see, like when they see my soul, when they see me inside, because that's where, it, that's where it matters. I don't care how you look. Everyone is beautiful in their own way. There is no one that is ugly. There's no one. Okay. They're all perfectly made or whatever, but to have people that can see you on the inside and they know your true intentions and they know your heart and they know what you do. And if you were to do something that was maybe a misunderstanding, they know that it is. That to me is something that is greater than everything. So that was so like, it was amazing. So if you're, any of you are watching this, I love you all so much for your overwhelming love. It was so, so like, it was just heartwarming. I like gave you all hugs in my head, you know, it was great. Thank you. And I put too much blush. That's okay. So. Something that I've noticed within myself, I put way too much blush. Wow. Ooh. I personally think that when I was starting out as a makeup artist, and I'm not saying I don't now, but when I was starting out, I doubted my work beyond anyone knew. I would sit in my room and I would cry because I'm like, I'm not that good. How am I going to get better? What am I like? How much more do I need to learn? What do I need to study? Like I was religiously on YouTube. I, I got a few books. I got one of the Raymond Morris books and I got a few on Amazon. I was doing master classes. I did a few one on ones with makeup artists that I'm now really close to, which I'm so grateful for as well. Like, oh, incredible people. So. I would say like I tried my best and I didn't feel good. I didn't feel great. I felt like I was still beyond average. I just felt like who the hell am I? Like I'm just a girl that came that grew up in Bankstown, you know, like now trying to make a, a name out of myself, like trying to be an international makeup artist, trying to actually get people to book me, etc., etc. It was crazy. So then when someone would say something like negative about me or my business, I would definitely be like, yep, tick in my head. I would tick that box in my head saying, yeah, they're right. I knew it. I told you, you know, why are you still doing it? Just negative voices, right? Until I was like, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I have to fully be honest with myself and understand that I am good at what I do. And I'm learning every day, which is making me better and better. And the more I learn, the more I practice, that's how, that's what it's going to make me the greatest. You know, when you feel a type of way about yourself, it reflects on what other people say. I'm not saying that if someone's telling you like, for example, I have the worst voice. If someone's going to sit there and tell me you have a bad voice, I already know I have a bad voice. It's not something that I would get upset about. It's I understand. I know, I know exactly how I sound honey, and I'm not going to sing because you will all unsubscribe to my channel and we don't want that. We want you to subscribe and to like this video. If you've stayed tuned to this whole uh, long rant about my little life, basically you have to find it in yourself to be happy and content. And if you are, and if you're, you still feel like it's just, it hurts your feelings when people say these negative things, just remember that that's all in a, a reflection of them. 
when someone's truly miserable inside or when they're going through something they reflect that on someone that they see is succeeding now everyone is going through something there is no one on this earth that can say that they are totally happy you know oh no no sorry let me rephrase there is no one on this earth that can say that they've had a good day every single day and there has not been one time out of that whole, their whole life that they haven't gotten annoyed or upset or something hasn't bothered them. It is normal. We're human. It's normal. Normal. Okay? I don't know why I just had to say it like that, but I did. Personally, think it's best to not reply to those comments because you're just going to start a whole ball of hatred, a whole ball of things that you don't need because we are better than that and we understand that people are going through things and some people don't handle it the way we expect them to and that's why we're all different so it's our responsibility to take it not even take it in just don't even read it if you want let them do them if they're on your page it's for a reason secretly they envy you or secretly they want to see what you're doing because they're like oh my gosh like I want to be like that. Why can't I? And it's because you're stopping yourself. So it's all internal and thought. It's really about them when they say anything about you. It's They're just projecting their own, I guess, insecurities or what they don't like about themselves or what they envy. So it's going to be hard regardless. You're going to have your days. But just remember, you're amazing. Now, a few tips I found that have helped me a lot. Is one I write a list once a month of 10 things I like about myself or I love about myself 10 things I want you to do that every single month it could be as simple as I love that I finally know how to take care of my curly hair <laughs> I love the way I talk to people I love the way I see people's souls or I see through their I guess bitterness or whatever you want to call it you know you could say stuff like I love my smile, I love my eyes, I am so grateful for that I'm still alive, I'm, I love that I am, you know, a ball spear. Like whatever you want to say, do it. I feel like you should do that every month and then every time you do get haters or even if it's your own family or whoever it may be that puts you down, I want you to go and read that. Go and read it. Keep telling yourself that every single day for that whole month, like, and then every month when you do it, you're going to be like, wow, like your list is just going to keep getting longer. And at first, you might find it hard to write something because I used to find it so hard. So what I did was I asked my family. I asked people that I loved or I trusted my close friends. I asked them, like, can, like, I know it's a bit weird, but can you just tell me something that you love about me? I can't think of anything right now. And you'll be so surprised at what they say to you. And you're like, wait, I am like that. Wait, oh my God. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm, you're gonna start feeling yourself. Feeling myself. Okay, we're not being on so much yellow. <laughs> Get it together. But yeah, so that's something that I also I think has really helped me. Another tip I can give you is write down why you're doing what you're doing or why you are the way you are or whatever it is, right? And what I want you to do is, for example, you're gonna say, I'll just use me because I can't think of anything right now. But I'm gonna say, for example, I love doing makeup. Why? because it makes me feel beautiful. Why? Because I love the way it makes other people happy, the fact that I can create things. Why? You just keep answering why. Do your why seven times. When you get to the seventh answer, you're gonna find your true answer. It's a little scientific thing that um, psychologists use that I have, find, like I've recently gotten into it and it is crazy the things, the real reasons why you do your, like why you do what you do. That was a real tongue twister. If you want to try, let me know. <laughs> Basically, those are the main things that I recommend doing. Also, I want you to write down 10 affirmations. Sorry, my thumbs were cut off. I want you to write down 10 affirmations, which is I am beautiful. I am successful. I am lovable. Come on, say it with me. Say it with me. I am amazing. I was meant to be here. I have a purpose. We're all in it together. I am rich. I am a money magnet. I am blessed. Say those, like, or say 10 things I am every day. You're going to start feeling more joyful, like joyful. So you're going to start seeing things differently. Remember, it's all about perspective. 
we can choose to make something a big deal or not we can choose to see something a certain way or not and at the end of the day there's no right or wrong it is what it is but you can decide what you want to see and I chose to see that message in the beginning I obviously did cry because it was a bit like a little bomb and then I, I slowed it down myself I slept before I slept I washed my face and I was like you know what I truly feel sorry for this girl and I honestly wish her all the best because I don't think that's something you say to someone you don't even really know or someone you're friendly with um, stuff like that I'm not gonna give out her name or any details so don't ask but it just yeah it made me it made me feel bad for her so I really do wish all those people that are going through something that traumatic that they need to put some or try to belittle someone or try to make someone feel worse about like bad about themselves when you really don't know what go is going on in anyone's life I truly feel sorry for them because they must have so much trauma inside that they don't know how to grow and that's the only explanation I can think of that and that's what I'm telling myself so that's why I'm telling you that because I found that it really had helped me and just I want you to know that I'm always here for you if you have ever experienced something like that let me know what happened because it mind blows me every time I, I hear something and I've heard a lot of bad stories especially from bigger influencers or people in the public eye so it's quite crazy but I also love their outlook on it because they all have the same kind of outlook they all say well they're, they're miserable in their life because a queen doesn't put a qu another queen down you know a man doesn't talk down on a woman if he's truly happy and like you know he, he's fulfilled in him, himself that and he loves and respects himself he would never love he would never not love and respect you true or not can I get an amen mm. anyways <laughs> this video has been a bit long but I really wanted to try cover everything and I wanted you to understand why I guess a bit more why I am the way I am the way I think and why like and how it's normal to doubt yourself and it's normal to feel like that but it's not normal to live there I don't want you to live there I want you to embrace it let yourself feel how you want to feel but make sure you can grow from that just look at it okay like what can I do in my case I knew that I should have been more clearer with my prices I should have sent her an email not through snapchat that's where I stuffed up but that's where I learn so it's all about learning stuff, especially when you think you know someone. I don't care who it is or whatever, friends or family. You need to have something written in text. So then you can always look, go back at that and go off at that. So that's just a little tip that I have learned from this experience, which I'm really grateful for. So yeah, I hope this has helped you. And I really like, I really do hope that you are all well and that you're not letting anyone's negative little three not even like a, not even a cent worth get to you because it doesn't stop like I don't want that little shining star to stop shining you know you're all amazing and we're all meant to be here on this earth and we all have a purpose so don't forget that you are so important and you are so loved and I love you because you're a part of my little family and yeah I love you all so much I will see you in the next Instagram series if you want to see any other videos or anything specific make sure to leave me a comment down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see my previous video about why you'll never be why you never front like those Instagrammers click up here because I just posted that and it's a real AF like I always am and I, this is the best platform to be so real because I get to just show you who I really am I get to show you what I get to help you with things that I wish I was like helped with and stuff like that so if I can be of service Thank you, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me feel myself for three seconds. <laughs> I love you all. Bye. <laughs>